Okay, today I'm going to show you how I have figured out a quick way to make a double-sided fabric shower cap. You will need two circles of fabric, 20 inches across, one 16-inch piece of elastic. I'm using 3 8 inch elastic, um, so at this point we're probably just using what we have. Okay, we're going to go over here and we're going to zigzag around the edge. If you happen to have a serger, that works really wonderful, but if not, don't let that stop you. Um, we're gonna use a zigzag stitch, length approximately four, and width really wide. So there are my settings on my machine, but every machine is a little different. Anyway, so you're just gonna zigzag around here and I have done most of this so we didn't have to eat up so much video time watching me just zigzag boring boring okay we get the end we're gonna cut our thread and then we're just gonna use I use my finger to measure so it's about three quarters of an inch because here's an inch and I'm just using from here to here so you can adjust that to be the size you need or what you're comfortable with. If you really, I don't want to just wing it, you could pin it, measure it and pin it, but that would take a lot longer and we're trying to get these into the medical personnel that are working so tirelessly for us. Okay, I've switched back to a straight stitch and then you're just going to sew around here. Now, this is when I wish I were more technical savvy and I would do one of those quick zoomy fast forward ahead or something, but I'm not. And so we're just doing a quick video for a quick shower cap. And you want to sew fairly close to the edge, not right on the edge because you don't want to fray out when they wash it. Um, but you want to leave a space big enough in here between your stitching and your fold line that your elastic will fit through it and that your pin will fit through it. So here we go, we're working our way around and I hope I called this a cap because I tend to call these shower curtains and so if I did that I apologize. I am making a cap. I'm not making a shower curtain. Anyway, so we're going to continue around this circle, and I'll save you and I won't sing. Okay. Um, here we go. See, and I'm just using my thumb right there. When we get to the end, we want to leave a space because that's where we're going to insert the elastic. Okay, I'm going to cover up the camera so I don't like put you like seasick. Okay, so now here we have the elastic. I have a little pin on the end of it, and I'm actually going to pin it going down like this just because then. The elastic is ready to go through here. Now if I do, okay, so I have this bobkin. You can use a safety pin or you can use a bobkin. But what I would do is I'd fold it down and grab the elastic. But I do it double because that gives the elastic in just a little more um, strength. Now you're going to push this in and then just scrunch it up and pull it through. Now see here, see how I sewed up there? Typically I would sew down here a little further, but it's really hard for me to see where I'm sewing when I'm videotaping. See this here, this is more probably how I would try to do it all the way. But when I'm sewing in the camera, I'm kind of wacky. 
Okay, so you're going to scrunch this on and then just pull it forward. Scrunch it on and pull this forward. And pull the, and move that elastic around. That'll give you some room to work with. And here you go. Here we've got around the circle. We're going to pull this out and I'm going to pull a nice long piece out. Release that. And I want that long piece out so when I let go of it, it doesn't fall back in. Okay, so now here's our other piece, our other end, anyway. Otherwise, we're going to overlap those and go back to our sewing machine. We're going to put it on zigzag. And we're just going to zigzag those ends together. Okay. Make sure that you catch the ends. And see, I did not catch the ends very well. So I'm going to do it again because I don't want this elastic to come out while it's being worn because then it would just droop over their head and be kind of obnoxious. Now you're going to pull that elastic in so that piece goes in and put it on straight stitch and this hole I'm just going to sew the hole shut and there Whoops, there you go. You have a quick double-sided shower cap. Okay, let's go sew.